Hey, what's up guys? It's your boy Williams TV and if you're passionate about soccer slash football and dream to go pro, you're in the right place. Today we're going to be taking a deep dive into different ways high schoolers could take to become a professional soccer player. Whether you're already playing at a high level or just starting out, doesn't really matter. This video is going to be giving you valuable insights and actionable steps that you could use in your professional development. Before we take a deep dive into the specific paths it takes to become a pro athlete, you gotta understand the basics. Talent and passion are the single most crucial things that are needed, as well as dedication and strategic approach. And it never hurts to sprinkle a little bit of luck for good measure. Now let's look into the fundamental elements when it comes to these. The first point is skill development. You need to be consistently working on your technical skills such as passing, shooting, dribbling, and defending. Because if you're not working harder than the next person, I promise you that next person is gonna take your chance no matter how much talent you have. So being able to go out and practice solo is very crucial. It's highlighted in my one of my videos named why solo practice is crucial for development. I show you that you need to really work on those technical skills by yourself so when you get into that team atmosphere, your individual talent will help develop the team as well as show you out of the pack so you can be chosen. That's what we're really focused on, getting out of the pack because not everybody can go pro. Everybody tries to go pro, but not everybody can. So you putting yourself ahead of the others, ahead of the pack will greatly improve your odds. Now we move on to physical fitness, which is one of the most important ones because soccer is a physically demanding sport. You gotta make sure you're always in top physical form, adding endurance, agility, and strength training into your routine. Because without those, you will be outbeat no matter how much talent you have by a person that's bigger and stronger than you and that could body you or run right past you. So you gotta make sure that you add that physical training into your routine always. At least two or three times a week if you're training heavily on skills, just do what you gotta do, man. The last basic point people rarely take to account is mental fortitude, bro. You need to be working on your mindset because during this journey, you're gonna face a lot of challenges and it's up to you to keep a positive mindset to pass those obstacles that are in front of you. Make sure you set your mind to your goal and keep moving on no matter what sets you back to achieve that goal. Because I could promise you right now, something is gonna trip you up along this journey and it's gonna be a test to you to see if you're actually built for this journey. All right, now let's get into the bread and butter, what y'all came here for, the paths to becoming pro. The first path is one of the most common paths with is high school soccer. And this is the easiest one because you're gonna be going to high school anyway, so might as well join the team. This is the great way to really start into your journey if you're just starting or even developing your skills even more if you're already playing at a high level. Here's how you can make the most out of this opportunity. When joining your team, make sure you do your research on your high school. Make sure you know how good or bad your team is and how you could fit into the program because this is your first step in gaining experience and showcasing your talent it also gives you exposure to college coaches and scouts depending on how good your team is and how good their resources are to get you to that next things like making sure they participate in tournaments whether it's local or regional is really important because tournaments are one of the places that you can gain recognition and also gauge your skill level the more you play, the better you get. And the better people you verse, the more recognition you gain. And lastly, during this high school pathway, you gotta make sure you seek out coaching and mentorship, whether it's from experienced players or your coach itself, because this is essential to your development. It creates a network of people that you know that could help you to the next stepping stone and also give you insights on what they went through so you can get a better understanding. Also, they could help you reach out to different clubs and academy that will catapult your stock. Speaking of clubs and academies, while high school soccer is a great stepping stone, clubs and academies give you specialized training and exposure that just speaks for itself. Here's what you need to know. 
When joining a club, make sure you look for a reputable club in your area that competes at a high level. Clubs usually have better training facilities and more experienced coaches. If you think you have what it takes, I recommend you look into MLS Next, UPSL, and USL2 to start off with. These clubs offer trials and tryouts around your area just reach out to them you can look them up on google or look them up on any social medias to be honest i would reach out to as many teams as possible find what league fits you the best whether it's mls next whether it's upsl or whether it's usl2 find out what really mixes with what you're looking for these leagues are filled with talented people and especially upsl and usl2 there's going to be grown men mixed in there too so you're gonna be with the lions per se because you're gonna have to be ready to physically like we said before physically keep up with them but that being said that all ties into your experience and that could be gold for you because having experience at a young age playing with grown men really makes you stick out compared to the people who stayed within their age group uh, all throughout but also you have to be careful to not gain any injuries because like I said, you're gonna be playing with grown men. So you have to be physically and mentally ready to do so. While you're reaching out to these clubs and joining these teams, another thing to think about is participating in soccer camps, especially if it's ran by a professional club or a college team because they could provide you with intensive training and exposure to scouts. This could be a great way to greatly improve your skills and get noticed. But make sure you watch out for the scams because there are a lot of scams out there. Make sure that your SARC camp is very reputable and the people that are running it are legit. Okay, if you're not one of the 1% that goes pro through the academies, through grassroots, the last stepping stone is college soccer, which is one of the most significant stepping stones when it comes to becoming a professional in the United States. And here's how you navigate it. The first thing that you want to do is research these colleges. You want to make sure that these colleges have strong programs. Make sure you consider the coaching staff, team's performance and facilities, as well as location, because you know what best works for you. Next is a big one when it comes to this, because people don't be doing this. Reach out to these coaches, man. Be proactive. Reach out to these coaches. Don't wait for scouts to reach out to you, because... Nine times out of 10, the scouts won't reach out to you unless you're like one of the 10%. And if you're not one of the 10%, you need to be reaching out to these coaches and you need to be sending them your highlight reels, all your highlights and participating in these college showcases, anything to get in front of them and start that conversation. Because I promise you, even if they're not scouting you, you putting those highlight clips, you reaching out, you showing that you're really interested in that program speaks a ton and i promise you it's gonna help lastly you gotta balance academics and soccer while soccer is your passion and all you want to do is play soccer day through night academics and grades are truly important that's what college coaches look at college coaches can actually give you scholarship based on academics and your soccer skills like they could give you half payment for academics through academic scholarships and give you half through athletic scholarship and that could do nothing but help you like if you have a program that you really want to join but they're not going to give you a full scholarship for athletic you can get some of it through your academics and sometimes you need to have a certain grade point average to even go to go to or join a certain college also don't stray away from these d3 and juco teams if there's a D3 or JUCO team you feel like is a great fit for you and join it. Like if you're a good player and as long as the program is strong, you could still make it as a pro. Like there's a misconception that if you play for these lower levels that you can't go pro. There's numerous of people that have been that went pro through D3 and through JUCO. You just got to make sure that you're always training, that your program is actually a solid program and versus solid other other solid programs and you'll be good man you'll be great in a great position and with that being said once you honed your skills gained the experience and stacked your soccer resume 
You're ready to go pro, man. You're ready to reach out to agents, go to pro trials, and just show that you are supposed to be a pro player. By the time you reach this point, you should have a large network of people and a large stacked resume that could back you up when trying to join pro. And if you guys enjoyed this video, go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. And go ahead and watch another video of mine.